Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, I'm Cindy Melia Would like to interpret or reread these paragraphs Introduction Different systems are introduced in the United States to teach English to English students of language learners, ELL Short 2006 clarified that bilingual teacher the New York City Academy announced that they use three distinct tracks to teach ELL students English. They have a dual language program, a bilingual program, and an ESL program for English as a second language. In Hawaii, for instance, a teacher uses drama to teach ELL English to students. One of the most efficient services they have in Wisconsin is to pair senior staff citizens of new student immigrants in order to compare the efficacy of bilingual two-way immersion programs. Marion 2013 conducted a quantitative analysis. The comparative programs included a two-way Spanish native transitional training curriculum for immersion as well as a two-way standard classroom for English immersion. Study result show that the two-way immersion program benefited from elementary pupils, both minority and majority. Furthermore, Macy's 2016 performed another research close to the boundary of a school district. The research focused on teaching English language arts in Spanish to resent immigrant students at the beginning and intermediate stages of their language proficiency level. As the number of ELL students in the United States continues to grow and accountability standards continue to hold educators accountable for ELL's success. For teachers to teach English to ELL students, students and school district need to ensure that the best programs and strategies are available. Vascopela 2011 clarified that effective school districts that follow all accountability components use multiple programs to teach ELL students English. Newcomers Academy Sheltered Learning and dual language services are some of the program used by successful school district. In order to be successfully implemented, all initiatives need help to assist and direct teachers throughout the year. Staff development must be provided to ensure that all ELL students learn English and graduate from high school with the with the English language skill required to become effective students in a college. A diverse range and numerous bilingual programs are needed. Literature review. In the United States, the number of immigrant students has more than tripled since two since nineteen. 70. Short 2006, in most nations, it is a struggle to teach immigrants or lang- English language learner ELL students. Short 2006 reported that teachers clarified in a school district in Arizona that students have to learn English as soon as possible because they have to be accepted into a formal English immersion classroom after a year. In 2000, Proposition 203 English for Children was passed by the state of Arizona, essential removing bilingual education and replacing it with sheltered English immersion. Language used by minority students in the classroom was influenced by Proposition 2203, Johnson 2012. Farella 2010 talks to tr- to their English peers about mainstreaming ELL students into daily classes. He states that as the 
NCLB requires all students to make academic progress. The No Child Left Behind Act, NCLB, put pressure on educators and students. Moreover, he explains that most states in the United States provided ELL students with sheltered teaching. He states that sheltered teaching makes academic language understandable while learners improve English skills.